I gotta say, this has been a really good apartment. As uh, many of you may know, Max and I are gonna be moving out soon. Uh, we are less than 60 days out from finishing our lease here, and Max is getting his own place. I will be uh, squatting <laughs> over at Mays for a little bit, because we are getting married this fall, this September, and so we are just riding out the time left on her lease at her apartment until we can get our own place. Ideally, we would like to move into the city over in DC, so we're gonna ride out the lease over her place. Max looks like is staying local here in the Arlington area, and then hopefully May and I will be crossing the bridge, moving into the city this fall. Now, one of the reasons why we're doing that, well, ideally, hopefully, going into the city, is because we moved up here to DC because we really wanted to explore uh, Washington DC and really see what it all had to offer so we do that now it's mostly just on the weekends so we figure the next year to two years while we're here uh, we want to really be in the city so if anybody has any recommendations where some areas that they like we're kind of looking maybe Adams Morgan ish um, we don't really know I haven't looked at any apartments so hopefully it works out soon but hopefully in the fall we be DC life so yeah Apartment's been nice, and by apartment I mean really uh, ever for headquarters. Max has uh, finally been able to clear a lot of his. Uh, there we go. A lot of his product had a recent sale, like a 20% off promo sale, cleared out a whole bunch of shit. But uh, yeah, it's been a great apartment. So many memories. So many memories. And actually, speaking of wedding, I'm going over now after work to meet May at the Watergate building. Actually, we're going to go check it out for a possible venue. So let's go see what the Watergate has to offer. It looks nice, but here it's kind of scandalous. <laughs> So wrapping up another day down at Fort Belvoir, they had a veterans wellness event and this was my first time out as just health coach Chase. And so what I did was I got my in-body device here. This is the only wearable activity tracker that measures body composition analysis. So we looked at, we measured people's weight, muscle mass, body fat, percentage body fat, BMI. Uh, got a lot of good contacts, a lot of good leads. And so step one as entrepreneur Chase complete, Great success. Uh, shout out to Boo Thing, who was a huge help. She was a trooper all day and uh, was my lovely assistant. So, again, thank you for Belvoir. You've been good. Team Tuning, we out. What's going on out there, Nella? What is it that you do over here all the time? What? What is it? What is it? What is it? What? What? Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Nell would be the perfect person to kidnap to try to interrogate because she would tell you nothing, but immediately roll over and submit. Eee! So it is a uh, lazy Sunday afternoon here. So yesterday went uh, really well. Like I said, my first real time going out on my own, giving my services um, out to the public for Chase Tuning, certified health coach, trainer, 
yada 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 but uh, it was really well received had a lot of good feedback and got a lot of good contacts for possible future clients so for a first time event putting myself out there great went really great and I was talking to May ahead of time she was like well what, what, are, what am I gonna do what are you gonna do like what are you expecting I was like you know what I don't really know all I know is that in any new endeavor you just got to put yourself out there so I was like you know what I'll be happy I think the projected outcome was about a hundred people of the hundred projected they had about 82 that actually showed up and I was like great okay so I could potentially reach 82 people now of those 82 yes of course ideally if I could have all 82 sign up as clients I'd be golden I had about 20 actual people stop by conducted the in-body body composition analysis, got the contact information, and we'll be following up with them for possible future coaching, programming, um, or you know what, none of them <laughs> none of them may want to follow up. So that's the thing you just have to remember is you have to put yourself out there and you may have everyone that you reach want your services or you may have none, but you won't succeed until you keep trying, trying, trying. So all in all, I think for the first time endeavor it went really well. Today I'm actually working on some stuff for school. Uh, I have to do for my health promotion class a grant proposal and so I'm wrapping this up and then actually May is on her way back over here. She's going to scoop me up and then Max, we're going to go get Max and then we're having a little um, third wheel date going to go see the Jungle Book. So pretty chill, lazy weekend, nothing super exciting. Um, big things coming up though. Big, big, big. Very excited. I'm so hungry. Ooh, I need snacks for the movie. And never mind, I'll just steal some of Max's ribs. <laughs> oh, just kidding, I'm back. Um, what I'm doing in the background of while I'm writing my grant proposal is I have these podcasts on blast. And so I'm back to Sean Stevenson and the Model Health Show. Now I've talked about this guy before. Seriously guys, if you have any interest in health and wellness, diet, exercise, sleep, anything in all things, just passive listening. So put it on while you're on the treadmill, put it on while you're doing homework, put it on while you're on the drive. This guy's show is so, so good. He gets not only great insight about his own um, interests, he's a big sleep guy. His kind of forte and topic of discussion is all on sleep, but he gets really, really great guest speakers. So cannot speak highly enough of this guy, Sean Stevenson, the Model Health Show podcast. Go check him out. Hello again, gang. Out here on the maze balcony, overlooking all things courthouse, Arlington. And sorry for the lack of, let's focus, lack of directional mic, but uh, my, little, my little guy here, the thing came off. I need to find a screwdriver long enough to fit this teeny tiny little screw to put it back in. But uh, I'm gonna wrap things up here. I'm sure there's a, just a phenomenal echo going on. But what uh, I want to do here is open up action for a Q&A. So at the beginning of the video showed you uh, this one location, May and I are looking at for the wedding venue, Watergate Hotel. And she is actually agreed to do uh, another Chase and May couples Q&A. So I guess all things related to what we've been doing since the last Q&A, like back in October after my birthday, um, and like any insight into wedding plans and things that we're looking at and what we want. Uh, I get a lot of comments and questions about, are you having like a traditional Iranian wedding, traditional American wedding, and uh, a lot of different things about being in a interracial relationship, which still kind of blows my mind because I, uh, I maze. We're both American, she was born here, but it's very interesting and very cool to be involved with someone else who has a totally different and completely opposite culture. So anything and anything Anything and everything related to Team Che, Chase May, wedding ideas, interracial relationship stuff, go ahead and leave some questions down here and we're going to film a video actually I think on Wednesday, which is our three year anniversary and uh, I'll post it up shortly after that. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I've enjoyed this. Really enjoyed getting in touch with my more entrepreneurial side. It's very exciting. Um, one thing I'll say right away about that is the more you the more you put yourself out there, the more opportunities you will find. And sometimes it's just work, 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 and you get like a one to 10 ratio payoff. Other times things just fall in your lap simply because of where you were, who you talked to, what you were doing. It's all about who you know people. So uh, I think May's actually on her way back in here now. So Noah, anything, any last words you want to say? No? 
Don't disturb her, people. She's on an overbound watch. So, uh, as always, stay classy, planet Earth.